Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new YouTube video and today in this video we're doing another Black Clover debunk video. I think this would be my one of my last ones on this debunk uh, video of Black Clover because everyone just everyone who trashes Black Clover has the same points. But this video has some different points and it, they're pretty dumb to be honest. They're pretty dumb like you can clearly gain read the dialogue after Aster did that move, he didn't read this and that and all of that, but enough of that shit, let's get him straight on the video. So, the first point about Black Clover was meh, and the story took loads of elements from different mangas and comics around it. Of course, Black Clover will take different elements and from different mangas, because nothing can be original in manga history now, because every single manga, like, the, every single manga does the same genre and the same thing, because it has been taken before. But... Black Clover does some stuff differently than other mangas, but it doesn't mean it's a copy of a different manga. Okay, it can be a copy of Naruto, it can be a copy of Basuri, it can be, be a copy of different mangas, but it is different in in their way, in the same way as well. But yeah, plus um, saying those stories meh and it's not plain. Wait, read the Dark Triad War arc. Read the Time Skate War arc. You get amazed. Okay, I knew the first saga up to the elf heart was shit. It wasn't shit, but it was it was good. It wasn't like the best, but it was good. But the elf arc will pull you back in. It would do shit to you. It would pull you back in, and the dark triad and the war arc and all of that. But yeah, so let's get straight on the second point. Then he talks about how Aster is too annoying for the main character, and he's too plain as well. First off, you c I get people when get coming from like Aster is very annoying, but when you get up to like episode thirty. You would get used to his annoying and all of that, but like you say that to a person, or oh, stop screaming, you ruin my hairs and that. What are you gonna feel? They're gonna feel sad, depressed, and that because they're part of their personality. You can't say that. You can't say that, but you can't say that in public and that. But you get what I mean? You. It's just a met. It's just a just a. It's just normal points like every Black Clover trasher or hater fucking brings up. It's just a too annoying for a character. And then he talks about how plain his character is, and like he has no magic, he has no parents, and he. It's like wow. First off, you won't get character development and everything you know about Aster straight away is a shonen manga. So and he has power, but he doesn't have magic. He has anti magic. And he can nerf, erase, and uh, still basically borrow magic power as well. Through as I was anti magic sword and his anti magic. For then third, he complains that anti magic is overpowered and broken in the series, but it's not because he can erase magic spells and magic around him, near him. And then the witch queen did state that the anti magic flowing around his body and Nero's anti magic is like flowing around his body. Like, say something hits him, he wouldn't phase. It wouldn't phase at him because this anti magic erased that attack. Then he complains that Asa's demon form is too powerful and overpowered in the living world. And that it literally said and stated that the black Asa is a strength multiplier. His strengths multiply his strength, his speed, intelligence. No, I don't think intelligence, but you get what i mean like it just increases that but it is not powerful at all like if you see he was struggling against segret he was struggling against it he still won because because he had help with yet yeah, dante yeah, no, dante yame um el charlotte da charlotte luminar luminar the first was a king and fucking lich he had and heroes on and and you know he'd had help against Zagreb, but he was still struggling it isn't powerful but he still over uh, surpassed his limits and gained the black divider and all of that. It's not overpowered. It's not overpowered. It's just, it's just a strength multi multiplier, and it's just like a um, becoming like a stage becoming a devil. Now, nah, like um in Tokyo Ghoul with the Kakuja mood, he it's a, it's a stage becoming the dragon in Ka Ken Kaneki and all of that. It's basically like that. So then he complains that after beating Vettu with one shot, not Yami. Yami knew that it was a master paragraph with Vettu and him, and Yami knew that after was the key to defeat beat Vettu because of his anti-magic like in Dante versus Yami and 
Master, he knew the anti magic is the key to win every single fight. So there's no problem with that, to be honest. He did, he did really surpass his limit. I don't remember he surpassed his limits. Yeah, he did. He did actually one shot at him, and then Aster just finished him off and all of that. But why there's no problem? In it's it stated the big three, the I three, was more powerful than Patrick, and Yami was put in a good again a good fight against Patrick. But the big three, he was struggling because there's a massive power gap, and I don't know why he's complaining about that when he's not looking at his fucking dialogue and the fucking text in the manga pages and the manga panels. But that is it. Then asked after that, he complains that Julius died against Patrick. First off, of Julius was very stronger than Patrick, but he didn't want to harm him because of William's body in that. And yeah, because he they have a deeper connection with it because Julius found uh, William when he was young because he got treated mistreated by his stepmother and all the royalties because of his cursed face and that. Then Julius found him and gave him a mask then it protected him. Patrick and William made found a friendship together, bond together and became friends and they did, Julius didn't want to harm William because he had a good bond relationship with them, him and Yami. But yeah, that is it. So then he complains about Aster Third Sword that he can negate any spell on anyone throughout things. So you know that elf reincarnation spell that's happening around the whole Clover Kingdom and different like maybe different like uh, villages like the Heart Kingdom, the Spade Kingdom, maybe the Spade Kingdom. I don't know, but it looks like it's from the Clover Kingdom. Aster could negate any curse reincarnation spell because it can negate any spell affected anyone. I don't know about curse spells, but it can probably can if he masters the sword, and I bet it will too. He can negate any spell, like I said. These swords of Aster Swords could do negate magic, sparrows magic, and erase magic. It's completely simple, mate. Get that through your thick head. So that is it. And then let's go to the next one point and then end this video. Then he complains about the Raya's copy magic isn't strong. Of course, it won't be strong because it's copying magic and spells. Not the person can use it. And Raya is only powerful because of his mana. So if you remember in the Alpha Carnation magic, when he, uh, Raya was against Merylonia, he copied anti-magic uh, sword, the Demon Slayer sword, and he didn't copy the anti-magic itself it only copied the sword and Merylodi destroyed it half and said you didn't copy the anti-magic just the sword so it's not powerful the copy magic and he's only powerful because of the mana like i said because the the mana was more powerful and more of patria because patria was weak as af <laughs> but yeah that is it with all my points right there but this will be my last debunk video because all the hate videos bring up the same stupidest points that ever can be debunked from a different black clover fans and me Broco and many more Black Clover fans and Black Clover YouTubers. But like I said, if um, any uh, Black Clover hate videos bring up different points, I will debunk them. It and if these um, points have to be a separate video or a whole different, like a whole video by itself, I will make that video. But this is the last debunk video because the most stupid points are there. But hope you like this video. Make sure you like. Can we get 10 likes to the video? Make sure you follow my social media, my Twitter, my Instagram. Also, join my Discord link in the description as always. All my social media. And make sure you subscribe and turn the bell notification on because you never miss a video like this. My Boruto reviews, my Black Clover review reviews, my Black Clover chapter reviews, my Boruto chapter re uh, reviews and many more anime content on this channel and see you in the next video. Peace out.